Well, New York City has gotten a lot dirtier. It's not your imagination. The city's leadership is responsible for this, but they've decided to blame rodents for it. They've hired a rat czar and identified rat my mitigation zones. Here's a local news report explaining it. They're quick, dirty, disease-prone, and above all, a nuisance. Yet rats continue to make their presence very well-known on New York City streets, in some neighborhoods even more than others. The city plans to zero in on eight areas so full of vermin the Department of Health has designated them rat mitigation zones. In Manhattan, extra rat fighting patrols will be on hand in Harlem, Chinatown, the East Village, and the Lower East Side. In the Bronx, Grand Concourse, and in Brooklyn, Prospect Heights, Bed-Stuy, and Bushwick. That's where neighbors were able to attest rodents are running rampant. The eight neighborhoods were deemed high priority thanks to a slew of 311 calls and complaints about infestations. Now those areas will get more attention from the city like increased enforcement on properties that fail inspections and rat academy training. Free workshops offered by the Department of Health on rat management. So the question is, is New York City dirty because it has a lot of rats or does it have a lot of rats because it's dirty? For a different perspective on this, we thought we would ask Ashley Byrne. She works at PETA where she's the director of outreach and she joins us. Ashley, thanks so much for coming on. Um, I think this is a really interesting point. I don't have a lot of rats in my house because I don't have a lot of rotting garbage in my house. And so maybe the problem isn't the rats, it's the people. I hadn't thought about it until you brought it up, but if you wouldn't mind explaining. Thanks for having me on, Tucker. Uh, of course. Exactly. You know, the rats are not the problem. The disgusting human behavior that is attracting the rats, that's the problem. We are basically inviting them to be here by putting out a daily buffet of garbage around the city. And these intelligent creatures don't deserve to die painful, excruciating deaths because of human irresponsibility. Or shouldn't we at least, I mean, even if you're not going to go as far as you're going, and you're, I think, at the place where you're saying, let's not kill the rats, even if you're kind of for maybe killing some rats, couldn't we also do our part as people and like not leave pizza slices on the sidewalk and pick up the garbage regularly? Why, why shouldn't we play in a role too? Exactly. Uh, you know, as long as we don't clean up our act, the city can kill as many rats as it wants to. That's They're right. just going to keep coming back. You know, this is, this is nothing more than a quick fix. If killing rats worked, we wouldn't have a rat problem because people have already been killing rats in this city for decades. But we live under mountains of garbage, so they have not gone away and they won't. Who do you, and you obviously study animal behavior. Do you think long term the rats are smarter than the leadership of the city or the city's <laughs> leadership is smarter than, than the rats? Well, I'll say this. Rats are actually very clean animals, and um, they're smart enough not to treat their homes like a garbage dump. So um, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Ashley Bernapita, you know, you guys have this reputation for being so extreme. I didn't think that was extreme. I thought that was a really good point, and I'm glad that you came on tonight. Thank you. Thanks so much, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.